Alright, let's try this without getting electrocuted, shall we? No way. Oh, wow. Come on. But one shot! God, that was close. Uh huh. <laughs> See if there's anything else here. And all along, Mad Johnny Bolton was doing the only sensible thing while I sipped tea and popped pills. <laughs> we all fall down. Yep, hey with labs, I figured. Wait, don't um Is this where we're supposed to go? I totally forgot. Oh wait, it's it that way. I've actually forgotten which way to go. Ah <gasps> oh, no, it's this way, isn't it, I think. Whoa. I'll just follow him. Easiest way. Not get detected. Stay down, behave. You can take your joy in the Ah, damn it. Come on. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> oh, damn it, that did not work as well as I thought it would. Come on. Yes! Heal? Right.
There's supposedly this back out here, weren't you? Oh no, hang on. Ah! Had a feeling. Are you really going to punish us all to save your guilty conscience? Oh my god. <laughs> I had just They're gonna have to catch me first Has it occurred to you that the problem all this time might be you? No, it's you. You are the gigantic problem. At least we're trying to find a solution. What are you doing, huh? Exactly. Okay. So... How are we getting up there? Um... What the hell? How do we get up there? Oh, I literally just passed this stupid thing, didn't I? Oh, you utter numpty! Oh. That was really silly to me. I saw it up there as well! Ah! Right, let's try that again, shall we? Do you think they'll remember you as a hero? They don't know what gratitude is. <laughs> Figure might as well trim leave that way. Whoa! Um Okay, that's definitely not going to work well, is it? <clears throat> Just didn't slide there was any way to get to the roof, so I figured... Run! Yep, well, it's really on the way! My work! My life's work! Okay, okay. That works. Whoa. Okay, I only got one shot at this. Oh, nice. Oh, 
It's dramatic, but board, it's it's sort of almost going the borderline of you know, um, like morale boosting, but it's still very dramatic music. <laughs> Typical, we happy few. <laughs> uh. My God. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, I didn't even see that there. Wow. I didn't even see that there until literally the last moment I was about to fall. Just go. I'll take your health first. Whoa, run, run! <laughs> the elevator down while the place is just imploding. <laughs> Typical. Oh, you gotta be oh, of course. Go, go. Jump, Vicky, have to jump. That's gonna hurt. The other irony is, I think, Conscient, he says, I think you stop, got stop taking choice. I think that's a reference to Ollie, to Ollie's time when they're playing that broadcast. I think that's what this is tying in with a bit. If I didn't know better, I, think I am that... become death, destroyer of worlds. Well, you're on the committee and you did try to do what you thought was best, but it doesn't help. No. Wow. That's a solemn sight, isn't it? Well, this is no Doctor Strange, guys. That's a bonus. <laughs> Have they all gone? What's left for them? Besides unhappy memories? Well, at least they have some memories. As I recall, I'm sure you don't have happy. You don't just don't have memories, you're just always happy. So... Anyway. <laughs> Hello, Victoria. Oh, look. It's Miss Bing. Lovely day for it, Miss Bing. We know what you did. I did what had to be done. What gives you the right? What gives you the right? You were all going to starve to death. My brother did die. The bobbies hit him a little too hard. You lot told us everything was fine. You told us to pretend it was. We all wanted to pretend. Don't you remember? We're all leaving. There's nothing. 
nothing left here. You can go wherever you like. Just not with us. I can't blend them to be to some extent. But I saved them. They yeah, may well. never forgive you for that. Yeah. What else could I have done? You don't always get a bright, shiny medal for doing your duty. What did you say? That's what I always used to tell your father. Wow. Come back to India, Vicky. You miss me. And I'm probably still alive. Wow. Goodbye, Mother. I hope you'll be proud of me. It's all a bit of irony when you think of what the all the saints and expressions that uh, Vicky's um, mother actually taught Robert Big, and Robert's kind of using his own cliches. That's how Vicky's kind of grown up for an extent. I've no idea how old she is in the game, but I'm guessing it's probably somewhere between 25 and 35. Maybe a little bit. Of, I'm not entirely sure. It's difficult to judge, so. But, I mean, essentially, so, I, I mean, if you'll take it from maybe the age of, I don't know, 10 or 12. So, at, let's assume she's 30. Better part of over 15 years that she's grown up just with all the cliches that Robert Meyer stolen from them. From Vicky's mom and India and all this and the truth that she never found out because he held he held them or kept them away from her and just what when joy was introduced it sort of just almost brainwashed her it's like yeah just go and be happy do what you think is best do what you want to do you know help the community why you're on joy do what you know wow he blindsided her badly i hope he gets what he deserves i really do but actually i enjoyed that a little bit <laughs> ridiculous, both in this typical tried and true tradition of we happy to, but just I can't think this. Maybe it's just me, but just sort of like, where is everything? You know, <laughs> there's a lot of places we could explore. And I like that. I mean, you could just go the straight path and do what you need to do, but you can also explore, which is something I do love in we happy few. You know, so it's one of those things I've always did actually enjoy just the exploration, doing a side missions and all that, so I don't mind the fact there's no side missions in these short, like, shortish games, because it's always nice just to be straight to the point, you know, you know, have those transition alleyways where we can come back to one place and then go to another, you know, don't have to, you know, go through an entire, I mean, unless it's part of the mission and you have to adhere to the to the NPCs, have their conversations and learn about the the world surrounding the world to worlds and the people around it. That's I, that, that's fine. I, don't, I like I like that at times. But sometimes it's nice just to be direct. It's what the game delivers at times, which is nice, you know. So, but I really think this actually helped understand the story a bit more, you know. And I honestly think that <laughs> when he says we've come to the end of our time need to stop taking a joy, I'm pretty sure that is a reference to the end of Ollie's part of the game. But he doesn't know all this is going on, because that's in a different part of the city. And of Wellington Wells, and, you know, he's doing the broadcast, where we you know, um, where all this sort of thing, I think, yeah, Uncle Jack, uh, whatever it was, but, you know, he was, he was, he was never there for a long time and he exposed that and we saw the end of thing when people were taking off their masks or just seeing them watching TV and it said you need to stop taking joy. He was honest it was, and it was um, censored, you know, by Phil Wellington Wells, the committees and the government and the bobbies. So, and I think that's a reference and I like that at the end. If that's really what the reference was, I love it because it ties in that Victoria Bing's the end of that and her bringing then all to the end, okay, it was disastrous in the end, but at least she brought to an end, a conclusion, um, by stopping the joy. Um, and I think that might have tied in, that's kind of nice, because it just shows that everyone was sort of leaving and vacating well into Wells. I think she'll, might even go back to India or find her own way in. I think that's really cool, actually. 
So, yeah, it sort of just shows that people are just leaving doing their own thing. They've done what they need to do, you know. And we got to find a little bit more about Victoria, because I must admit, I, I did wonder in the main game about her. So, um, just her story, and I'm glad we got to actually learn a bit more about that and insight into her, and about the cynicalness of Robert Bing and how she was lied to a lot. I feel sorry for her a bit, actually, to be honest. But look, I really did enjoy that. It was nice to go back to some of the old game mechanics and all that. Bit of simplistic, but still really fun as well. The quirkiness of it, you know. It definitely, definitely takes its traditional traits of We Happy Few, the main game, and certainly incorporates them in a really good way, and I really did enjoy that, so... <laughs> yeah. So, look... Uh, I hope you enjoyed this game. I, I actually did. I thought it was nice. Um, I would have played it sooner if I know that it actually existed. My ne my next let's play I'm going to do is actually of a similar story. <laughs> but I'll guess that when I start that. So, yeah. We're going to end it here. So, yeah. I I did actually enjoy it. It was nice to find a bit more of the additional story. And I think it did tie in quite nicely. I think that's how it was meant to. Which is, if so, that's awesome. So, uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed as much as I did. Um, thank you for all the support you show on the series. I do really appreciate it a lot. Yeah, so I'll leave it there. Again, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. And I will catch you next time for a brand new Let's Play. Take care, everyone.